Extract the appropriate shots of espresso. Steam your milk to the proper serving temperature as the shot is extracting. Pour this milk aggressively into the glass to achieve a good mix. These are both lattes. The one on your left is a standard latte, the way most people like to drink them. The one on your right is a foamy latte. Some people like to order them with more foam. A cappuccino is espresso capped with foamed milk. You can really see a difference between the cappuccino on the left and the latte on the right. With the cappuccino, there's no mixing between the foam on the top of the drink and the milk and espresso below. And with the latte, you have almost completely steamed milk and the foam is mixed with the espresso. Foam the milk to the proper serving temperature. Extract the espresso. Layer the foam onto the espresso so that there's no mixing between espresso and milk foam. On the left is a classic cappuccino and on your right is a dry cappuccino. Choose one of these as a standard for your bar. The final basic drink is the mocha, which is coffee mixed with chocolate and milk. Mocha mix is made with the addition of one half fresh milk and chocolate. Mochas are best with chocolate steamed into the milk. First I add some milk from my latte pitcher and at least one half fresh milk and chocolate. Be sure everyone at your bar is consistent with the amount of chocolate they use. Mocha mix will be louder on the steam arm than regular milk. Be sure to aerate or blow bubbles near the surface of the milk to keep your mocha pitcher quiet. Watch your temperature. Great. Mochas can be very foamy, so be sure to cut the foam as you pour your mix into the glass. Whipped cream, sprinkles, and other toppings may be added to make the mocha an extra fancy drink. Now you've mastered the four basic drinks. Espresso, latte, cappuccino, and mocha. Let's quickly look at some of their variations. Americanos are very popular. Americanos are made by gently pouring espresso over water taken from your espresso machine boiler. Espresso compana. Compana means with cream. The compana is made by putting a dollop of whipped cream on top of an espresso. Espresso macchiato. Macchiato means marked. The espresso is marked with a dollop of milk foam. Any syrup flavor or combinations of syrup flavors may be added to a latte. Follow this order. Syrup first, shot second, milk third. The reason we pour espresso over syrup is so that it will melt and mix easily with the milk. Our favorite syrup drink is the latte colati. It's made using one half vanilla, one quarter creme de cocoa, 
and one quarter coffee syrup. Flavored cappuccinos are made by adding syrups as you would in a latte or by steaming syrups into the foam. Flavored mochas. Both the drink and the whipped cream can be flavored. We recommend making your own whipped cream for the best flavor and quality. Syrups should be added to the whipped cream to sweeten it. We use our Kaladi mix. Let's go over a few basic maintenance tips. Daily maintenance. Always blow out and wipe your steam arms after every use. This will keep milk from being sucked up into your boiler. During the day, rinse the groups out two to three times using the blank insert provided with your machine. This will keep your groups clean and free from coffee tars and oils. Rinse your portafilters after every shot. Old coffee will taint your next shot. Keep your grind adjusted at all times. In the evening, wash out and scrub your portafilter to remove any coffee tars. Soak your steam arms Clean your drip tray Clean out the insides of your group with a brush At least weekly, you should wash your hopper thoroughly, clean your grinder burrs, and clean out your doser compartment your espresso machine should be back flush with a high quality espresso machine cleaner. Finally, you should soak your portafilters in a mixture of espresso machine cleaner and very hot water. Please be sure to refer to your manufacturer's instructions for additional maintenance. A few words on customer service. Friendly service actually makes drinks taste better to your customers. Here are some pointers that we have found essential. Always greet the customer and try to learn their name and their drink. This helps to create regular customers. Help customers to feel comfortable ordering drinks. A lot of people out there are intimidated by espresso speak. Thank your customers for their business. Be enthusiastic about the quality of your drinks and your coffee and take pride in making it right. Finally, if you get a complaint, thank the customer and try to help them get what they want. They're giving you a second chance to keep their business. This concludes our basic drink making class. We hope this tape's been a helpful introduction to espresso drink making. To review your skills, 